Well, it is uh, 7 or 7.30 in the morning, first night out on the boat, and uh, it's gorgeous out, calm. All night long, the uh, water was calm, there was no wind. <clears throat> uh, we just kind of did small little circles from just floating around. Uh, kind of a tough night's sleep, though. We did hear a little bit of the laughing water all night. Kids were up and down several times. Um, this is different, you know, new mattress. I don't think anyone slept real great, except for Chase. He was absolutely out. But um, this morning, I came out here to try and get started. We had separated our batteries, so we just had one battery on during the night, and we flipped it over to the other one. And uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like it had enough juice to even start it. So uh, uh, first day, first night, we're gonna have to probably call uh, Towboat US and have them come out and jump start us this morning. But uh, we'll get some breakfast in us, and uh, then we'll give them a call and see what they say. So, all right, that's why we have it. That's my cat. They are great. That was great. Well, sea tow showed up, and we tried to jump start the boat, and uh, it wouldn't start. It would turn over and turn over, but no luck. So he ended up towing us back. Uh, the guy that runs the sea tow also has a platinum marina on the lake, so he took us over there to see if he could uh, fix the boat for us. While we were heading in, we thought we might just throw the lines out and let the boys uh, crawl a little bit for some fish. Didn't figure we'd catch anything going as fast as we were, but have some fun doing it. Right there. See my toe is? Yeah. And what was wrong with it? It's a solenoid for the starter. And it just didn't start? It, it just go bad. Then our alternator is not fully charged. It's only putting about 11 out. It said it should be putting 12 plus, and then when we throttle up, it should go up to 13 or a little more. And it didn't do anything. So we're going to need to put a new alternator on. To get us by the next day or two, we're going to um, get, another, get battery. another battery just to carry around as a spare so I can swap it in if I have to in the morning and just start the engine. Oh, and you just put it up front? Yeah, you just put it up front. Oh, you don't need the front? No. Okay. Because for ours, put this in it and turn both on. Yeah, it just it, I'd have on or off. They have lights on or off. I can't just turn just this one on. So we headed back to the Jones Brothers Park so the boys could play at the playground because that's all they want to do is play at the playground. As soon as we got there, killed the engine, went to start them back up just to see if they'd start, and of course, nothing. So we ended up, there's a gentleman that lived on the houses up on the hill, re recognized our boat from earlier that morning as we got towed away, came down to see if we could help because he saw the engine hatch open. Helped me figure out that I just needed to disconnect all the batteries, pull them out, and just put the one brand new battery in with just the basic wires to start the engine. Uh, we just had too much stuff going on it, and even the old dead batteries, I think, were a draw on the system. So he has the big white boat straight across it and lives on that house up on the hill there. Really nice guy. Well, Chris is trying to fix the boat for the second time. This time we knew it was the alternator that went out, and he just needed to flip some batteries around. I decided to take the boys across the field over to the park that they've been wanting to go to. This is the west side of Jones Brothers Park. And this is the east side of Jones Brothers Park where they have a playground all surrounded by um, a fence. A guarded fence. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Why, to keep the kids in? Yep. And I know that you guys are in the park. Chris was able to get the engine started on one battery, but we knew we didn't have much time. So we decided to, on our way back to the marina, just stop at Starnes Island real quick so the boys could climb around and see what it was all about. It was so windy 
this time of day. It was so beautiful the day before, and the wind popped up that we were crashing and crashing into those rocks. So we weren't there long until we decided to go back out to the marina, and as we were going back, it was just windy, windy, windy. We still had the whole weekend to just hang out as a family. So where did we end up? In a hotel. In a, we went to the Renaissance Hotel in downtown Austin. What are you most excited about? Um, that it has a breakfast area and, and, and that it has an indoor pool and an outdoor pool. Yeah, so there's a pool inside and outside, hot tub, and they love the free breakfast. Anyway, so do mom and dad. So anyway, um, yep, yeah, so we ended up at a hotel. <laughs> Yay! What an adventure. <laughs>